As we continue the conversation about the, the Affordable Care Act and what uh, repeal would mean, Jessica Intermel is someone living with a pre-existing condition that we talk so much about when we talk about the ACA. She takes medication for rheumatoid arthritis. And Jessica, you believe that you could end up paying thousands for your medication if the ACA is repealed. Explain. So my medication costs um, about $4,500 per month. This little guy right here is $2,225, and I have to take two of them every month. That's the price that the drug company charges. And so without insurance, I would be faced with um, basically paying two more mortgages just so that I have the medication so that I can make a fist. Your insurance now, is it through an employer? Is it your personal insurance? How do you have the coverage through the Affordable Care Act? I know, but more specifically. You know, I used to have employer coverage, and when the recession hit this year, um, I actually had to recommend my own COVID layoff. So right now, um, I had the choice of either going onto the healthcare exchange that's, that the ACA created, or paying more, uh, more in premiums to do COBRA coverage or continuation coverage from my employer. There are people with pre-existing conditions who are on the opposite side of this than you, and they say, uh, what the president is doing and will continue to do is helping them. And so as I try to hear both sides of this issue, I keep thinking, so we hear Joe Biden talking, we see what president has done or hasn't done, and we're looking down the future trying to determine what person would be better and which one would be worse. Bottom line, your rheumatoid arthri arthritis isn't going to go away, like you said, and you're going to still have to have the medication. But there's still so much uncertainty is what I'm getting at. There is. And there's a whole lot of things about rheumatoid arthritis that I cannot control. One of the things I can control is to try to get affordable drugs to you know, make it so that the disease stops eating holes in my bones. For me, that has meant... Um, both relying on um, insurance coverage and relying on uh, the ACA's protection, both for pre-existing conditions and protection against lifetime limits. Insurance companies would say, you know what, you've had a million dollars worth of care and we're just not gonna cover you anymore ever at all, even for a cold. Now I've already had $500,000 worth of claims in eight and a half years since I was diagnosed. This is where my frustration lies, as well as so many others, and I'm sure yours too. The real problem, while we can talk about political plans, I, I totally understand that, and I've been doing a lot of talking about it because I've been asking a lot of questions, but the real problem is the cost, period. I mean, why aren't we asking our politicians, and I will as I continue to do my interviews, why aren't we tackling that problem? Don't help me deal with paying for my medication. Stop the cost from rising to where it is. I think that's exactly the right question to be asking. Why does this cost $2,225? Why does it cost as much as a house payment? That's insane. But the thing is, some of our politicians have been asking that question. Some of our leaders right here in Minnesota, um, Attorney General Keith Ellison spearheaded a task force that has a ton of recommendations. And I actually have a flagged copy right here because that's the kind of girl I am. Um, but they're, they have real concrete ways to lower drug prices, to make drugs more affordable. And his is a prescription drug plan in particular but that's what we need to do because at the bottom line is that it is insane how fast healthcare costs are rising because you don't get to choose whether you pay them or not. I know. I know. And uh, when I just make payments, I get them coming after me for a full payment with a court order. So, Jessica, uh, while I cannot empathize with your condition, I can sympathize with the fact that we are all paying too much. Thank you for your time and for explaining what's going on in your life. Thank you very much.